Friday. And we are not in Chicago, and that's sad. But my mom needed us, and she's doing, would you say she's doing better today? I don't know, she's not. She's still in bed, and at this point, she's a little bit less pain, but she's still just like, can't walk and stuff. Um, Oh, my nose is like running all of a sudden. Hopefully the antibiotics kick in and hopefully hopefully she'll feel better soon. Like I mentioned in the last vlog, I'm happy that we made this decision when we did because obviously we were supposed to leave this morning at like 8 a.m. And yeah, it, yeah, it just wouldn't have happened. Anyways, but on the bright side, she is I think feeling a little bit better. She said that the pain's not like so constant in regards to like, I guess before it was even when she was like, sitting still at her yeah but those weren't working either either the painkillers are finally working let's just say that but yesterday she said that they weren't um, working very well so thanks for all the prayers you guys are really nice and sent a bunch of prayers to her and I know she could use them because I mean well I know I mean I'm not sure I compare my pain to my mom's but I mean I know what it's like to be in just agonizing pain and be in bed and not want to be in bed and just have that pain come out of nowhere and like that's kind of what just happened to my mom is like this came out of nowhere. So, yeah hopefully she could find some answers after all of this and figure out if she can prevent another infection. I don't really know how that works. I guess she said she'll see her infectious disease guy. Um, it's a doctor that helped her with her MRSA but yeah, going into Best Buy to fix John's watch that I bought him for his birthday two years ago because it's broken. Tell them why it broke, John. He didn't get it for my birthday. He just bought it. Oh yeah. Um, it was like because it didn't come out until October. Oh. That's bought right. it for me for your birthday. <laughs> what? T tell him what you did to it. It might have gotten a little wet. How did it get wet? Went through the washing machine. It still works happened. though suddenly. It worked for a little bit and then suddenly the button started breaking. So like a good wife, I purchased um, the Best Buy guarantee or warranty on it. Because I knew it was a watch. So I, was I knew it was a watch and I knew that John was the one who was going to be wearing it. So anyways. So my Kaya dressed herself today. What are you wearing Kaya? Your pretty sweater dress, a tutu. You notice your leggings are inside out and backwards. How'd you do that? <laughs> And your socks are not the same. Can I see your shoes? Can I see your shoes? Go like this. Put your shoes out like this. <laughs> She's got different socks on each shoe. I'm extremely tired. I look like a rack. I'm greasy. I've been um, basically working on bracelets since I got home from uh, running errands and I check, you know, checking on my mom every once in a while upstairs. The kids are being put to bed right now. I'm just exhausted and my hands I don't know if you can see this my hands and nails are just like beat up to no end they look worse in person and I've washed them like three times but I got all of these bracelets done which I'm pretty excited about so I can ship those out soon and then I made two new bracelets for myself because I didn't have any in rose gold and I thought these would look really cute together so I did a skinny cuff and I did a one fourth inch cuff and I thought those paired really nicely together so that's that the kids are kind of freaking out they don't really want to go to bed right now shocking i have to finish bending this and then i'm gonna go upstairs and um i'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then ooh, and then go upstairs and finish doing some laundry and yeah so it is saturday and we are on our way to where are we going? To the grocery store. I need to pick up stuff for my mom. She is finally feeling better in regards to being able to eat. So she requested some uh, tomato soup. So I'm gonna go buy a few of those for her. Her foot's doing a little bit better. Like she actually feels a little bit better finally, which is good because if she wasn't, we're gonna go to the hospital today. But she says she's feeling just a teeny bit better. So we're, yeah, yeah. And the redness has stopped going up her leg, so that's good. Yeah, I'm also stopping by my friend's house to drop off her bracelets for her. And I think that's pretty much, that's pretty much it for what I'm doing out and about. I need to work out tonight because yesterday I was, as you guys saw, working on bracelets and taking care of my mom. And the night before that was my rest day, so this is the longest I've gone for without working out. And I can feel it. I'm like, I feel blah. So we're going to work out tonight. Um... I need to do a lot of laundry, need to clean. There's, yeah, that's that's my day today. Shoot, I should turn there. I'm not doing very well, but yeah, that's what we're doing. Well guys, so I am currently trying to get out of here. 
I am leaving the hospital. I just admitted my mom. It's midnight. Took her to the emergency room. Her foot wasn't getting any better. And um, it they admitted her like immediately. They just, it's gotten worse and the antibiotics weren't helping. So yeah, we got there around 8.30 and they took us up and I got her all situated in a room and text all my siblings and my dad since you guys know he lives across the country right now. And now I am heading home um, to go to bed so that I can wake up and try to be back, which is when um, visitors are allowed to come back. So I'm going to Starbucks. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, my mom requested good coffee because apparently the hospital coffee is not too great. I'm gonna stop and get her some Starbucks, and then I might get myself one. I've been, uh, we, me and John kind of xed out Starbucks out of our lives for a few months. Um, just because we realized we were falling back into our bad habits of going there like, you know, whenever we drove past one. And it's so expensive and it's not good for us, obviously. And I've been, you know, on this health kick and working out and John's trying to lose weight. So we gave that up like, you know, when we started working out at the gym. And now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy myself one though. Cause I'm gonna be there anyways for my mom. I'm gonna get something little for myself. John's at home with the kids and I'm gonna go spend some time with her this morning and hopefully catch the doctor while he's in with her so that I can talk to him and figure out what's going on and um, I look bald right now don't I like this is what I was talking about the other day in the vlog about how like when I wear hats I look bald but I didn't want to take a shower and my hair is not looking like super cute right now like I look like an Asian version of Justin Bieber right now the so hat day it is I'd rather look bald than like Justin Bieber Cocoa Puffs? Mm-hmm. Cocoa Puffs. What'd you get in yours, Kaya? Mmm. So it is Monday. Last night I went back to the hospital with my sister. Um, she came into town to hang out with my mom today because she knew that I had to be at home to watch my friend's kids and then obviously Kaya and I. But she... She, being my mom, is doing, uh, I think, better. I spoke to her a little bit this morning. Um, she might have to have surgery done on her foot, so that's kind of where we're at now. Um, I'm planning on going over there as soon as John gets home from work and we pick up Wyatt from school so that he can be at home with the kids while I go. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I didn't get any sleep yesterday. Like, I was up until like 4 o'clock in the morning watching, what was I watching? House of Cards. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this. I love House of Cards, which maybe that's also another reason I cut my hair like this because Robin Wright is just I think gorgeous and she's so amazing in that show. It's a pretty messed up show though so you kind of have to have a stomach to watch it but anyways that new season came out so I watched like five episodes last night because I couldn't sleep. I was so anxious. My body just would not settle down and I honestly think it's because I haven't been working out. This is the th third day or this today will be the fourth day that I haven't worked out. I need to go tonight no matter what because I just am feeling like crap. Put some invoices sent out. I have a few orders I need to fill still. And then I got all these packages up to send out to you guys. And yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Um, I've been just like, I know all I've talked about in this vlog is basically my mom and the bracelets, but that's kind of all I've been doing um, other than like my normal duties as a wife and a mom. But I know I've been talking about it a lot, but I'm just really excited because I just, I missed working with my hands. Like my hands hurt and my nails are all, you know, messed up and gross because of the file and the polishing and the stamping and the metal and the tarnish or, and the polishing wax and stuff. But I missed making jewelry every day. I used to have an Etsy store for like a year and it was just like, I, there's something, there's something I said it earlier, there's something so personal about making stuff with your hands that other people will like, like wear and hopefully love and you know, keep with them. Like there's just something so like, I don't know, I just feel honored that people would, you know, I don't know. So yeah, it just feels really good to be doing jewelry again. Like I just really missed it. Anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm probably gonna sit down, go over um, shipping and stuff for these bracelets and send some emails out and maybe watch another episode of House of Cards because man, the show is addicting. It is so addicting. And it's such a terrible show. Like the people in it are such terrible people, but it's just like, I can't get enough of watching it. It's the craziest thing. I just picked up Wyatt a little bit ago and I drove all the way to the frozen yogurt place for them because my sister wants some frozen yogurt and I thought, well, maybe that'll keep them busy while they're at the hospital. 
I got all the way there across town and of course I realized I left my wallet at home with all of my important information and my money and everything. So I not only have to drive home for that, which is like not a quick or fast or close drive home, but I also have to go home because I grabbed the other pair of car keys which John needs so that he can come pick up the kids later from the hospital. So. I'm pretty, pretty irritated with myself, <laughs> but at least, I mean, I'm going home for two different reasons instead of just one. I don't know if that makes it any better, but I'm just like super annoyed because it's like almost rush hour or it's at the brink of rush hour and it's just, I'm in the horrible part of town. So, er, what's wrong, babe? My mom just got wheeled back for her procedure. I'm going to go down to the OR waiting room. John joined us here, so he's going to take the kids home. And I just wanted to show you guys Kaya's fourth outfit of the week that she's picked out all on her own. She's got her princess dress, some sweatpants, joggers, and her boots. And then she put her coat on inside out today. Yay. Yay. She's a big girl now. She is. What I'm trying to understand is that every single time you put on clothes, you have a 50-50 chance of putting them on inside out or backwards. And somehow, every single time Wyatt or Kaya put on their own clothes, they always get it inside out and backwards. <laughs> it makes no sense to me. But anyway, so I'm gonna go do some work down in the OR waiting room with my sister and hope that my mom's surgery goes well. And I'm in the waiting room, plugged in, and I got my little newly co bag I've been testing out this weekend. The review's gonna be a little bit late just because I've been busy with uh, other stuff and my mom being in the hospital. So I got all my snacks that are, of course, super not good for me. Chocolate covered pretzels, donuts, beef jerky, bottles of water, all that stuff. And I carried my computer in here. It's a nice bag, so I'm really happy I have it. Um, but yeah, I'll do a review on that. But we're just waiting for my mom to get out of surgery. It's 9.53, oh my gosh, it's late. Um, I can hurry, hurry, hurry. I just got done at Meyer, and I'm on my way to our favorite carry out sushi place to pick up me and my sister's orders. I have not eaten all day. Um, I was doing laundry while the kids ate, so I didn't really feed myself. And then right after they got picked up, I went and picked up Wyatt. And then of course you guys know, saw, I went and got yogurt and took the kids to the hospital to see my mom. And we've been there ever since. And my mom's doing, she's in a lot of pain. She's like in a lot of pain from the surgery and I just hope she feels better in the morning. So we'll figure out more about the infection tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna go get food and I'm going to go home and eat and I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired. I was really hoping to work out today and we missed our um, kids' swim lessons because obviously I had to be there with my mom, but we will make that up on Saturday or Wednesday if possible. So again, yeah, I didn't get to work out today, but hopefully tomorrow I will be able to because eating and not working out is not a good combination for Kelly, especially because I'm pre I'm like PMSing right now. And you guys know, all I like to do is eat, eat, eat. So it is Tuesday. Is today Tuesday? Yes, today is, no, yeah, no. What's today? Yes, today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. <laughs> we are on our way, where else, to the hospital. Um, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I kind of took my time getting just ready today. John left for work at like 6 a.m. So I took the uh, to Wyatt to school. It was at her dad's this week. And then brought it, Kaya back and then I got ready and showered and my sister left for the hospital to go spend the morning with my mom because she's leaving after lunch. So I took this morning as kind of a break to myself to be able to just like take a shower and not be in a rush to get anywhere. I did some laundry. I made myself a necklace because I wanted to start making necklaces for the, um, I don't want to call it a shop because it's not a shop, but I don't know what else to call it. I mean, yeah, but technically, I mean, I guess I'm selling stuff, so it's a shop kind of, but I named it and I gave it a name. Anyway, so that's enough of that. You guys are probably sick of me. All I've talked about this last week is my mom, my hair, and my new jewelry shop. But anyway, so that's what I did this morning. Um, I, yeah. We're gonna stop by Starbucks and pick my mom up a coffee because she said the, the hospital, I almost called it a hotel. The hospital coffee is like disgusting, she said. So I'm gonna get her a decent coffee and Kaya like a snack box or something because it's almost lunchtime and I haven't fed her yet. And then I'm just gonna hang out at the hospital until it's time to pick up Wyatt from school. And yeah, and then hopefully, John's not gonna be home till late tonight, so I don't really know what's gonna happen if I'm gonna bring both the kids back. The struggle of taking kids to the hospital is not that like I have a tr like, hard time keeping them entertained, it's more of like keeping them off the floor. And I mentioned this on my Facebook page because I just was, you know, it's just a struggle parents have. And um, 
and um, some, one of you guys, you know, mentioned that like they clean the floors really well, and I totally agree. I mean, when I was in there for my endo and for when I had my babies and stuff, they came in every day and like mopped the floors and like sanitized. But the issue is, is that my mom's in the infectious disease area. Like, there's like a wing, and that's where she's at. And there's a bunch of other people in private rooms, and you know, down the hall, in the hallway, that have like no contact, you know, precaution, blood blah, blah signs all over their doors. And then the nurses and the doctors all, you know, traipse through every single room. So that's the only reason why I'm a little bit paranoid. I'm just like. Uh, I don't know what's on that floor, so please don't lay on it, like it or touch it. So, um, so that's my issue is just kind of keeping them from like wanting to lop all around. I mean, you guys saw when I was at the post office with Kaya a few weeks ago. She just kind of sits anywhere. Like, I don't even think she even thinks about it. She's just like, I'm gonna buy tire. I'm gonna sit here. Like, she'd probably sit in dog poop if I didn't like warn her. You sleep. No. <laughs> Look how cute you are. I mentioned how warm it is outside. Like, I don't even have a coat on, and it's so exciting. It's so exciting. Oh no. So, do you guys remember? Mm, hold on a second, I have to order. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. We want to get started for you today. Hi, can I get. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So, do if you guys remember in a previous vlog a while ago, John complained that we couldn't go to the Starbucks location anymore because there was a barista at the guy at the like window who like always talked his ear off, like always. And it wasn't like you know, I know there's nice people, but this guy like asks super personal questions and then he still continues talking to you even though you've gotten your coffee paid and there's people like behind you waiting. Well, he moved to this location and I saw him yet and yesterday when I bought coffee for my mom it just was like ongoing and he's so nice but he just asks the weirdest most kind of invasive questions that you're just kind of get really uncomfortable about and then he just talks on and on and on and then you feel bad because there's people behind you waiting and like yesterday I was running late as you guys saw I left my wallet and all that and like yeah. so now I'm gonna have to tell John that not to come to this location anymore because <laughs> like John was drove off. He was like, I'm not going there anymore, Kelly. If you want your coffee, we're going somewhere else. Uh, why are men allowed to be so mean? Like, I feel like men are allowed to be jerks and say mean things and people are just like, haha, you're so funny. And then when a woman says anything like slightly negative about something, they're like, oh, you're so high maintenance or you're such a B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> like John gets away with saying so many like nasty things about people and people just think he's cute and funny and I'm just like, that is so unfair. It's like a double standard. But anyways, yeah, so he's, this guy is really nice. He just, he just talks a lot. Like I'm pretty sure he knows my birthday and I think pretty sure he knows like all my kids' names and not because they're with me but because he asks. <laughs> Did Hello. you have a bag for your Beastro boxes and cake pops? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. And then can I get a, a carrier and then also stirs for no the No problem. The... How you doing today? How do I it's, do uh, oh, it's there it just is. a scan, yep. Having a good one today? Yep. That's good. Any big exciting plans to enjoy the weather? Oh, no, unfortunately not, even though it's gorgeous out. Uh, you have to work later or just? I have no clue where I'm going right now. Oh, I need to go this way. And I didn't run over the median. <laughs> For some reason, this Starbucks location is the, okay, whoo, it's gonna get hit. This Starbucks location, I'm just gonna complain all today, apparently. It has like this just low lying, little tiny median. It's like a little curb, but it's in the middle of like, there for no reason so you go through the drive through and then you think oh, okay I'm gonna pull away from the window and turn right because that's the direction you're supposed to go but you forget that there's this little median that you can hardly see and then you end up rubbing your tires on it or running it over and actually John when we first got this car last year brand new 2015 ran our bump our ran our car wheel front one into it and he was so upset like he was so upset and so yesterday I was in such a hurry I totally forgot about that dumb median and again you can't see it like you never for some reason you don't see it because you don't think to look for it I ran it over so yay I didn't run it over today but yeah I swear I'm not a bad driver I just 
I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> now look at me. All I'm doing is talking. I'm like that barista. Ah! There's nothing wrong with talkative baristas. I have no issues with talkative baristas. But don't ask me super personal questions. Like, it gets uncomfortable after a while. Me, like yesterday, he asked me what I was doing today. And I said, oh, I'm visiting my mom. She's at the hospital. She goes, oh, what's she in for? And I go, oh, you know, I tell him, you know, she's got an infection in her foot. Oh, what kind of infection? Oh, they don't know yet. They're gonna do a procedure later today to figure that out. Oh, what procedure? Oh, I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't know yet. Oh, how old is your mom? Um. She's in her 60s. Oh yeah, is she like, you know, built like you or is she bigger? And I'm thinking, these are really just weird questions. I'm like, I don't even, the doctor didn't even ask these questions. I'm just like, I'm gonna, yeah. So he's super nice. It just gets uncomfortable when people ask super personal questions and you're like, I'm never gonna probably see you again. Like, I don't know. As I tell you guys all of this personal stuff on YouTube and you guys probably will probably never meet me. But anyways, I'm just a, I'm just, being mean. I need to stop being mean. But anyways, so we're gonna go to the hospital now. Oh, it's so pretty out. I should take Nuna for a walk later. What? Yes, I do. Hi, buddy. Hi, mama. You have a good day? Yeah. Take your jacket off and put your book bag down so you can sit down. Buckle up, please. John's home. He had a long day. He left at 6 a.m. this morning and he just got home around 5.30. 6 o'clock. <laughs> I was busy filling orders and now we stopped through Subway and we're gonna head to the hospital and eat dinner. Uh, not with my mom, because she technically already ate dinner. They feed, her. they feed her at like five every day. She's like, it's so early, um, but we'll be eating around her. Morning, so I am at the post office. I'm gonna mail out some packages. I'm exhausted. I am not sleeping well. <laughs> I need to go work out. I keep saying that, but um, I'm gonna go mail out some packages. I got my, <laughs> it's kind of warm out, but it's still kind of cold. And I'm wearing my Crocs with socks with like some cut off joggers. So I'm that crazy lady at the post office. It's the afternoon, the kids are napping and I'm exhausted. Not in particularly from like kids, but it's just like, I have so much laundry I need to do. I have zits popping out all over my face. My mom still needs me to come and like visit her every once in a while. Just this whole last week has really just been wearing down on me finally. I look like a mess. I think you know, I'm wearing a little office clip in my hair because I was too scared to go upstairs to get a real hair barrette because I didn't want to wake the kids up from their naps. Yeah, it's pretty much what's going on. Do you guys ever get stuff in the mail that says on the front of the envelope, paid to the order of, and then here, I'll show you. You guys ever get stuff in the mail and it says paid to the order of and you get super excited because you're like, oh, there might be a check in here. And then it's just like, congratulations, you're pretty approved for up to 50,000 in a loan. I don't need $50,000 in a loan. That sounds scary. I just, yeah, I'm like, of course, but then I think I'm like, well, why would somebody randomly send me a check? I don't know. But yeah, so hopefully there's not a lot of garbage in this vlog and there's something entertaining. <laughs> I'm gonna go and see my mom after John gets home. Um, dog is so loud and yeah my hair is already growing out I don't know if you can see this but the little like shaved area is already growing out I think that's the only reason why I can't really have short short hair is that my hair grows too fast I'm noticing but oh well all right guys so it is what's today I've lost track of days today's Wednesday just got done at Target I was picking up my mom some stuff for the hospital oh it's hot in here I am so excited with this weather, but at the same time, it's like frustrating because it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, and what are you all doing right now? These people, man, I hate four-way stops. About 50% of the people at four-way stops don't actually know how to use a four-way stop. At this point, we're on our way to go find something for lunch for my mom. She said she'd like a real meal today, so I'm gonna take her that. Sorry about yesterday. Today's a new day. I'm not gonna be all grumpy today. I got a good night's sleep last night, so that helped. Kaya. You're so far. I'm so far. <laughs> yep. What number is that? Two. No, that's a one. One. I'm gonna look out here. Okay. So it's the end of the night and I am working on getting out a bunch of orders. I just did this large order right here, which is really exciting. And 
I'm drinking a Henry's Heart Soda and it is amazing. Like, seriously guys, it's stinking amazing. I'm watching some blind spot on my computer while I package up stuff. Noon is keeping me company. She's so sleepy. It's bedtime.